Welcome back gamers, the Red Dragon here, part two, Domavon Peak Rush. If you missed part one, you probably are wondering where in the world are we, how do we get here? You should probably go and watch that first. As I prepare for my first base jump, I'm pretty excited at this point in time. I see all these randoms huddle around this Humvee and I'm like, these guys are really about to shoot this Humvee off this base. Uh, and I think that's awesome. I'm like, I'll just get the best view in the house and I'll feel like a National Geographic cameraman or something skydiving taking pictures. Friggin' awesome. He hits the pipes, explodes. Uh, you have to be really careful when parachuting in Battlefield 3. I'm sure you know this by now. You have to uh, deploy the parachute before you would in Bad Company 2. In Bad Company 2, I mean, you could get all the way down almost to the ground. And I mean, pull it out at the last second and you would survive, have 100% health. Here with Battlefield 3, you have to actually pull it out a good bit before you could in, in Bad Company 2. Or else you will get pretty wounded or a lot of times you'll even suicide and die. You'll see that we're trying to break our way into the A... MCOM, we've got smoke going on and grenades, everything, explosives. Um, just kind of taking it slow. I mean, we're not just running in here, you know, like madmen. Uh, I'm going to try to go for the, uh, the MCOM. I make a mistake because I'm looking at the MCOM, which totally just blocks out any other point of view. And I probably could have shot that guy because you can fire while arming an MCOM. So that was a rookie mistake by me. Don't make the same mistake that I did. Uh, be sure that you're looking out wherever an enemy is coming and that way you could defend it and I probably would have done a whole lot better there. You see, I was waiting on my guy to parachute all the way in before I spawned on him. That's another little tip. Uh, if you're spawning and dying instantly on teammates, just kind of watch their screen, see what's going on, and then go ahead and spawn in when you think it's safe. I mean, who wants to spawn and die immediately? It doesn't help you or your teammates out because it just uh, you just lose tickets. Uh, so I've got my radio beacon. Uh, one, one little trick about the radio beacon. All right, if you place the radio beacon out and you die, and then you respawn as the recon, the radio beacon goes away. But if you spawn in as something else, the radio beacon will stay there. So that's why I always say the first kit that you should play in if, uh, if you're trying to help out your team and trying to get a good spawn point is plays the recon first, get a spawn beacon, and then switch to whatever else you want to you wanna play as. So here you see right there, I got called by the guy with the flashlight. I was trying to run away from him, but I couldn't get away. So check this out. Now I'm, I've got my spawn beacon out because of the recon. Now I'm going to switch to assault. I've got my smoke, and I'm going to spawn in on my spawn beacon. Another little trick about the spawn beacon, and I will do a video just on the radio beacon because this is all important info, so you'll get to hear it twice. If you place it outside, a lot of times you will parachute in, but if you place the radio beacon inside a building, you'll actually spawn inside the building. So depending on how you want to come in, like right there for me, it was great to be able to parachute in because I was able to parachute behind the enemies. And so now I'm in the building we were just in, but uh, originally we were coming in from the front. Uh, and because there were so many people in the middle and everything else, now I'm behind all these people and they have no idea that I'm back here. Plus, I've got my smoke. And if you've been following me since Bad Company 2, you know that I love smoke. It gives great cover. So I'm just going to um, smoke this place up a little bit, try to give the enemy uh, you know, a little disadvantage there, not knowing what's going on. Make it a little hectic and chaotic. And I'm just going to try to pick these people off who are picking my teammates up who are all in the front of the building. So I'm like special ops right now, you know, trying to clear it out for my guys. And you don't have to always go for the crate. You can be a team player. Right here, I'm just trying to hold them off for uh, my teammates so they can get the crate. And we've succeeded. We've taken that out. At the same time, and, and this worked out really good because our team was going and playing for the objective, Almost each and every time that we captured a base, at the same time, the uh, the other teammates were going and securing the other MCOM stations. So each and every time we were able to push in, push hard, push fast, get that out as fast as possible. And it's so important in Rush to go in as fast as you can. Um, because if you give the enemy time, eventually they will form a line and they will push you back. And it's the longer that the defense has to set up in any type of game that you play on, the harder it's going to be to break that defense. So you want to get in there, uh, push in, and capture the objectives as fast as you can, get it over with. 
So uh, another little thing that I'm, I'm constantly doing that's a good tip for, uh, for people who are beginning, and, uh, and this goes for any type of game really, um, I'm always looking back and forth between my mini-map and what's going on in the game. I looked at the mini-map, I saw that there was an empty tank out on the map, so I went and grabbed it. You never want to leave a piece of armor like that just sitting around. One, the enemy could capture it, uh, which that would be really bad. Uh, and two, it's just extra firepower. Now, I was a little confused because I know that I have a lot of things unlocked for the tank, but none of them are available here. And my teammates informed me that for some reason it's something weird because you couldn't you didn't start with a tank in the beginning of the rush game for some reason when you got to this point uh, because I hadn't customized it that none of my specialties carried over so it was a little weird because right now I'm playing with no optics no nothing on the tank is just uh, just plain old Jane uh, but you'll see that I am taking it kind of slow if I get hit I pull back uh, in armor I, I mean why push out there uh, get destroyed and then have to wait on the tank to respawn if you start getting hit pull back your vehicles um, it, As long as they're not on fire. They are going to regenerate health And so it just makes more sense to take your time and I've, I've said this time and time again Especially with battlefield games. It's so important I mean this is not a run-and-gun game and if you go out there and you try to run a gun you're going to get murdered uh, and it's just as simple as that. Uh, the people who are going to do well in this game are the ones who take their time, who play tactfully or, or tactically, and um, and who play smart. That's the thing with Battlefield. Battlefield is a smart man's thinking game. That's why I love it uh, because you can do these types of tutorials. And in other games that are much more faster pace. You don't have enough time to really communicate with your team and tell them where somebody is because by the time you die, like that person's already 20 or 30 feet away and who knows what happened to them. So that's why I like Battlefield is because you can communicate. It's a little bit slower paced and it's a thinking man's game. And you've just witnessed a, um, a great assault by, that was a team effort by all of us as far as breaking in Domovan Peak. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please comment like subscribe I know it's just like you hear it every time and so you tune it out but please it means a lot for me um, and it really helps out and uh, you know want as many people to see this as possible so that they get the tips and tactics uh, that makes them good and if everybody's playing a good smart game we're gonna have some really good um, informative videos and games coming up for everybody everybody can enjoy it so that does it for this video. I will see you later. The Red Dragon signing out.